Have you ever been mid live stream and you get this pop up message on Ecamm Live that says something like your folder or your computer is full and you need to clear this off and the recording has stopped. And this sucks, especially if you want to do like I'm gonna be showing you later on in the video, how to actually turn your video into a recorded video for YouTube. But we're gonna be diving into that and a couple pro tips to help you along the way. Just some additional hiccups after I've been doing this for some few years that'll kind of help you out. So one of the reasons you actually get this kind of message is because you probably are saving all of your Ecamm recorded videos to your actual computer. It doesn't help if you're recording in 1080p, 2K, or even 4K and those file sizes are steadily increasing and getting larger. So I would encourage you stop saving this to your computer. Instead, you wanna start using something like an external drive. There's a couple different options that you can choose from and it really makes a difference on which one you use. Now, I highly recommend the Samsung SSD. They are T5s or even T7s that they've newly released because these SSDs or solid state drives don't have the spinning disk that we used to see when we're talking about external hard drives. These larger ones, you can usually find these really, really cheap online for a ton of space. It can be two and four and even eight terabytes, which is like 8,000 gigabytes. And these are great. It's great to have some of these just to store files. Now it's up to you which one you wanna choose between, but I highly recommend SSDs. So whether it's, oh, and we caught it. And then, <laughs> So for that reason, exactly, if this was this hard drive and it hit the ground, and I've dropped this quite a few, let's just be honest. I've been traveling and I will drop these things all over the place. I'm so glad it doesn't have a disc in here that could get messed up because if it was these, it'd just be, it'd be bad business. So now that we have an SSD drive that we can use to transfer all of those files, and honestly, let sometimes it sit there if you're editing from them and things like that. We need to make sure that Ecamm knows exactly where to save it and stop saving it to the place before. When you open Ecamm, you wanna to go to the gear icon and this will open up your preferences. Then you wanna go ahead and click on your general tab. The general tab will have a lot of stuff on it, but you really just wanna scroll down to the bottom and select choose recordings folder. Pro tip here, this is where it's going to save your bacon later on. It does not help to pick another place that you're not gonna to remember to go to. So on a day that I have a brain fog, you're not feeling too well, whatever the case is, you need to name this something that you would remember in a day when you're just not on your game and things are not popping off like you need to. You need to be able to find this folder no matter what. So I renamed my folder to Ecamm Replay Content Folder because no matter what, some of those words are things that I would search for or ask uh, when you type in the finder on your computer to actually pull it up. That way, no matter how you search for this, whether it's Ecamm Folder or Ecamm Replay Folder or Ecamm Recordings Folder, put those names or those keyword phrases in your actual folder name. So no matter what, or no matter how you're thinking on that particular day, you can access and locate this folder and your files won't get lost. Make sure you're helping yourself out. There's a lot of things that you can do before you start recording just to help yourself afterwards or if you're sending this stuff off to an editor. So I'll select the isolated audio option within Ecamm Live. And the next thing I'm gonna do when I'm working with my editor is make sure I upload all of those file assets. If you guys wanna know more about how to work with an editor or how to hire an editor, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious if that's a series of videos that you'd be interested in seeing on the channel. Now, when you're taking this particular video file and you're gonna bring this into your editing software so that you can start piecing it out, the way that you wanna do your live streams, the way that you wanna structure these so that you have the ability to do that in a more clean way, you wanna make a few adjustments when you're recording the file. So I like to do all of my greetings and everything up front, say hello to everyone, just to acknowledge those that are already there on the live stream. And then I'll go into my topic. If you're using like a bumper or some kind of a stinger that you like to play in the front, I get all that stuff out the way up front. I let my audience know beforehand that if I'm getting ready to go into a dedicated content area, then we don't have to worry about them saying like, are you ignoring me? Do you see my comment or why didn't you answer me? They are already familiar that this part is being recorded or we're really gonna focus on the meat of that. So my audience is already very comfortable and trusting me enough with their questions to know that they're gonna get answers and not ignored during the live stream. But they also know that when I'm recording a specific piece that this is so when you come back to the live stream again or somebody that can't be here live comes to the live stream, they don't have to worry about me stopping in between to talk to somebody else. As the creator, 
you're also making sure that you have a good segmented piece that you can now bring into editing. To make sure you're editing this video in the right way so that it does not look weird and it doesn't look like a live stream that you kind of botched and now you're trying to make it into a video, but it looks like a dedicated recorded piece, I'm gonna share with you some additional tips and other pro tips that you definitely don't wanna miss. Click on the video on the screen, it'll walk you through the steps of exactly how to do that.